Morning guys, it's our third day in Edinburgh on Thursday and we are off to the gym this morning. So I have access to a chain of gyms and I can go to the one in Edinburgh. So I've invited Keegan along, he's got a guest pass. We're gonna go work out. Our first show is not until 1.30 and it's currently 10 o'clock. So we have some time. So let's go, we're tired this morning. Gosh. Let's get a coffee first, yeah. Right, we are back from the gym. We went and did a little bit of shopping. I say we went and did a bit of shopping. I bought a t-shirt. But anyway, we've bought some lunch because we're running out of time. Our first show is in an hour and 15 minutes. Um, and we bought this from a local deli. It's a sausage and fennel gnocchi. I mean, I know it looks disgusting, but it smells great and I'm sure it will taste great. Got a lovely prosciutto sandwich to share as well. So this is gonna be our lunch. And then we'll head out to see some shows. How was your workout, please? They're good. They're good. Mine was all right as well, I suppose. I just did all my favorite exercises. Right, guys, we're all showered. We've power walked to the Pleasance Courtyard. So we're seeing a show called, like, Fantastically Great Women That Change the World or something. Very excited to see it. It's by the same creators as Dix the Musical, which you've probably heard of. I think it's going to be more on the professional side of the fringe like the drag show we saw like a nicer venue bigger venue um so yeah we're excited here we go this is where we were yesterday last night let's get to see it in the daylight we went to the wrong place it was just down the road but luckily i thought we were running late but we're not new venue i never even came here when i came three years ago so i'm excited to see all these new places had to run to the loo so desperate the show starts in like two minutes <sighs> So it looks like we're in a basketball court. I think this is a sports hall. We are, aren't we? Some drinks. I've got a uh, white peach G&T. Cider. Cider. Cider does not agree with me, guys. I don't know if I told you. I've worked out I'm allergic. So that's fun. Work. <laughs> wow. Wow, it's quite big. What's up? Bit jammed in. <laughs> Right, fantastically brilliant women. We'll give you a review at the end. We're now on to the it next show. It was, wasn't it? It was really good. We're now at the underbelly. Oh, that is so cool. To watch My Sons Are Queer, which is apparently sellout Mine's and then. really, <laughs> well, you don't know. Uh, and I apparently do. really good. You do, okay. Right guys, we've arrived for dinner at a place called Bread Meets Bread. Spacey Burgers. It looks really good, so I'll explain it when it comes. But We've seen three shows and I haven't given you the rundown. First of all, fantastically great women who change the world. Really good show. Initially I was like, oh, is this for kids? It's a bit like rubbish. And then, well not rubbish, but I was like, it's a bit, you know, twee. And then after a while I was like, oh, this is great. About 20 minutes in I was like, this is great. Really like it. And by the end I was like, I love this show. I definitely would go and see it. Um, what did you think about that show? Very good, very empowering for women. Yeah. Empowering for everybody really. Yeah. Very, very good, very good. The next show we saw, Rob Madge, um, My Sons Are Queer, or What Can You Do? And I'd seen his stuff on social media before, but I didn't really, like, I wasn't necessarily a fan. Now I am a fan. Oh my gosh, it was so good. It was basically him living his childhood dream of putting on a show, a Disney parade, in front of the audience, but showing his old home movies when he was a really young boy, doing all this stuff, and I just got very emotional. I cried during it, cried afterwards, like, it just, it was very emotional. What did you think to Rob Madge? Heartwarming, very funny, very emotional. 10 out of 10. Agreed. And then the last show we just saw was something mermaidy, Little Mermaidy. I not seen Little Mermaid, so it went over my head. It was fun, but it wasn't my sort of thing. But as a Little Mermaid fan, what did you think? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was an adult take on the bad guy from Little Mermaid. It was all right. Um, what was it called? Ursula uh, the Sea Witch and Untold Story. Okay. Uh, had its moments, there's some funny parts. Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten, okay. Not bad. And then now, after dinner, we're going to see a show called Briefs, which I think is like a gay cabaret. Gabaret. A gabaret. 
So we're gonna fill up now on food, and then me probably fall asleep during the cabaret. I won't. Uh, but I was falling asleep during the Little Mermaid thing. I was like, how am I falling asleep? This is a loud show. But I just was. But that's me, isn't it? Narcoleptic. Narcoleptic. Right, guys. This is my Chalumi burger, which is chicken and halloumi and bacon. Keegan's gone for a, a chicken burger. What else? Oh, truffle. Then we've got buffalo chicken bites, cheese fries, halloumi, and truffle dough balls. Incredible. Next show, this is briefs. We're in a big top. Not sure what this is gonna be like. We've been to a cabaret before. We, we have brunch there. Yeah, do you draw like a bit like a smoked ass? I like cabaret. <laughs> I'm open-minded, guys. I'm a temple of tolerance. Right, we've come out of briefs. That I thought that went really quickly as yeah, well. For a long one. For a long one. It was an hour and ten minutes. And it was basically what I expected of a cabaret. It was a bit more I wouldn't say cabaret, I'd say that was circus. It was like it was circus soleil kind of thing. Yeah, hundred percent circus soleil. Cirque du soleil. But with music and a really amazing singer called Sahara Rocks, was it? Sahara Beck. Sahara Beck, got that wrong. She was really, really good. But yeah, it was good. You what do you give it eight now? Eight. 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 I yeah, for what it was, I give it eight out of ten. <laughs> In terms of my own enjoy, no, I did enjoy it, but I think it's not normally my sort of thing from Edinburgh, Edinburgh Fringe. I like plays, emotional plays, but that was good. I did enjoy it. I just, I am scathing, aren't I? I do enjoy myself. I just, I'm He's hard a very to impress. Harsh critic. I'm a very harsh critic of everything. Now I'm starting to see how well I've actually done. <laughs> yeah, you've done well for yourself. Yeah. Not many people get to where you've got. I'm <laughs> joking. <laughs> I'm the lucky one. Um, yes, you are. Anyway, we've got one more show booked, and it's called. It's awful. It's called the show for hot people. A comedy for hot. People. It's a comedy for hot people, and it was recommended to us by a woman, our waitress, who worked in the Scotsman yesterday. Yeah. So we booked it, but. On a way. I think it's going to be, I'm dubious, but I'm happy to go because the fringe by. is all about trying new things, isn't it? Um, we might get turned away because we're not hot. Uh, but anyway, that's it. I'm going to stop vlogging now because lots of people are around. Look, fireworks. That is where the Edinburgh Tattoo is, I think, in Edinburgh Castle, which we're exploring tomorrow. We decided not to go to that show. It was another hour, and we both feel like we don't have another hour left in us on the show. Whoa, Mr. Big Ones. Everyone's alarms are going. There you go. Tattoo. I mean, I have no idea what the tattoo is, but I'm willing to learn, but probably not this trip. It's a military parade. A military But why is it happening at night? I thought it was during the day. No, and no, is it's it like every a big day? It's a big show, and they have all the and different uh, regiments from the army do like a, a thank you. show. And uh, they put it on in the grounds of the Edinburgh Castle. And we'll see the grounds tomorrow. Oh, cool, so we will see some of it. And is it just in August? Because it yeah, happened last August, time it was at the fringe. Yeah. 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 So so every like evening? evening. Uh, no, just like yeah. Thursday, Friday, Saturdays. Oh, uh, okay. Wow. Yeah, well, I'm glad we caught some of it. We were saying we need to come back to Edinburgh when it's not the fringe, because there's so much to do here that isn't just the fringe, but we managed to do some of it. Yeah. Yeah. One thing we wanted to try while we we're here is a deep fried Mars bar because it's very Scottish and we found it. So we've stopped for a little drinks break. Iron Brew is also very Scottish. It is. Do you like it? 
Yeah, like I remember my granddad told me that it's the reason why Scottish people don't get hangovers. Really? Because they just drink iron, iron brew? I think it, it was obviously a, a wives tale. But yeah. Is it why they have ginger hair as well? Because iron brew's orange. Maybe. Maybe. It's seeped into the giant. Yeah, potentially. Right, this is what it looks like. It's a bit pale. It is very, it's anemic. Okay. I thought it would be more I, helped here. I think it, I, just predicting, I think I'm going to think it's pointless. I think I'd I prefer it without. It oh yeah, you're the guinea pig. Your turn. Oh no. <laughs> Already no. Just, just sit with it. Immediately no. Mm, the middle's nice. Talk us through it. So when you get to the middle, the Mars bar, nice. Isn't the immediate touch of savoury batter on your tongue when you eat it? It's like, Whoa. I knew, I knew myself. I said I think it's pointless. It's pointless just eating melted Mars bar. It's not melted fully Mars melted, Mars. is it? No, but that's the nice part. The slightly melted Mars bar. The nice part is not the batter. What did you think? So you didn't actually say you just pulled facial expressions. Yeah, it's similar like at first. I mean, I'm kind of intrigued. Are you glad we got one, or are you now thinking we should have got one each? Because no. you did say, should we get one each? <laughs> and I was like, no. <laughs> Maybe greedy. Yeah. It looks... Whoa. The concentration. It's just very strange. Isn't it? I just think it's it's the most pointless thing. Like, why? Any Scottish people that know the history of this, can you just please take, just tell get, us why? Get the batter off. Yeah, get the batter off and just eat the chocolate. No, you go for it. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very odd. Um, glad I tried it. You can batter anything. You can batter Twixes, batter Snickers, they have them all there. Not sure about that, I'd just rather eat the chocolate. But yeah, another delicacy ticked off my list. Good morning guys, it is the next day. It's actually the last day in Edinburgh, not even full day. So we're checking out this morning at 10 a.m. and it's 20 minutes to 10. Keegan has gone to get the car. Um, so we should be back any minute now and we're gonna pack up the car, go find somewhere to park, and then we're gonna head off to Edinburgh Castle, which I'm so excited about. I think we've got an appointment at about 11. And then we've got about a three hour drive down to the Lake District for the next portion of our holiday. So that's gonna be really fun. I've never been to the Lake District. Um, I've been to the Peak District, not to be confused. But yeah, really, really excited. But I'm sad our Edinburgh trip has come to an end. This beautiful flat has come to an end. You know what, guys? You know, some of you will know, if you've watched my vlogs, the loyal viewers, that I'm trying to get better at knowing what I like in interior design. And the way I heard about that you can sort of develop a taste is to read magazines, hence why I subscribe to House and Garden magazine, Period Living magazine, but it's also to put words to what you like and what you don't like. So instead of flicking through a magazine and just going, don't like that, mm, like that, yeah, don't like that, why? Ask yourself why and try and explain why. And since then, since doing that for like a year, I've definitely developed a bit of a taste and style. So now, coming to this flat, I know what I like and what I don't like and what I do differently. Let me go this angle because the window is making everything dark. Right, I know what I like and what I don't like. On the whole, I love all this decor. I love the Victorian fireplace. I love the color of the walls. My personal opinion, I don't hate this chandelier, but I think this room could take like a legit chandelier like with crystals and everything like just look at it imagine this with a lovely glass chandelier it could take it look at the corner seeing and look at like it definitely could handle that so i would personally put in a really extra chandelier <laughs> also that mirror i really like that mirror but i kind of think it might be a bit more of an outdoorsy thing my parents have one like that in the conservatory in their house and it looks so good because it sort of brings the outside in. But I think for a living room, I probably wouldn't go for one like that because now I associate it with being a bit more outdoorsy. But also, I just love the doors. Look at the detail on the doors. Anyway, I know most people don't care about my opinion about rooms, <laughs> but it's something I'm trying to develop for myself. So. Poor Keegan and my family and everyone has to put up with me walking into a restaurant, a bar, a pub, someone's house, like my house, their house, and going, oh, I love that because of this, this, and this. Oh, 
I wouldn't, well, I wouldn't do this in someone's house, but if I went into a pub, I'd be like, oh, I don't like that, da 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 da, -da. And I think everyone's like, okay, Joel, we don't care. But uh, <laughs> it's not that I think that I'm self-important and that my opinion matters, it's just that I'm trying to put words to what I like and what I don't like. Guys, I've seen that someone's just left a car parking space there, and someone's left at the same time there, and I'm like, Keegan, come on. Well, there he is. Yes. I was like, there's two spaces outside the house, get them. Yes. Fantastic. making fun of me. B-roll, B-roll. I say B-roll when it's like gonna be a shot set to music. Uh, so already he's making fun of me. Fantastic. <laughs> so have you got a haggis? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Who knows? I've gone for Ava on toast. Looks so good. Yeah. Guys, so this is where they do the tattoo with all this seating and it reminds me of in the Hunger Games movies in the last one where all the tributes come out and there's crowds either side and President Snow is over there. Very funny. Robbie, Robbie. <laughs> I hate you so much. We've arrived at Edinburgh Castle. It's sprawling. I thought it would just be like walking up to the top of the hill and having a look, but there's buildings up here. It looks very much like Hogsmeade from Harry Potter. Yeah, I'll try and find out some history and tell you guys, but you know me. I'm not very good at remembering facts. There's a, I think William Wallace's sword, is it? Who's William Wallace? Braveheart. Who's Braveheart? You've never seen Braveheart? No. Is that the Disney animation? What? Braveheart. <laughs> what? That's a Mel Gibson film. Oh. Is it? it was made in 19, in the 1990s. It's a sprawling medieval epic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no spot. <laughs> I thought it was a ginger girl. That's brave. Oh. <laughs> well, I've got some learning to do. Ooh, Fugsgate. There's a dog cemetery. That is so Actually. <laughs> what is not A roll? A roll is when you talk over the shots, B roll is when you don't talk over them. Ah. So that was B roll, but just to prove you wrong now, I've made an A roll because he keeps being facetious about my B roll. A roll, A roll, B roll. <laughs> um, I want a fine face like this. Joel, you're such an A roll. <laughs> Good one. He's funny. Ooh. What a magnificent fireplace. Joe. Guys, the most amazing things just happened. Joe. Keegan just said castle the way I, a southerner, says it. How do you normally say it? Castle. And what did you just say? I said castle. He said castle is happening, guys. I I'm turning, this is like sacrilege for a northerner to sound like a southerner. They really hate it. I love that. We're in the prison now, guys. Oh, this looks quite comfortable. They are having problems, Mr. Howard, but we're doing all we can to provide for Well, that 
first Edinburgh Castle done, that was really good. I've never, I really like the medieval stuff and I was saying to Keegan, I don't know much about medieval times but I'd like to learn more because I normally just focus on like Georgian and Victorian times, things like that. So I would like to get into a TV show set in medieval times. So I'm thinking The Last Kingdom, not bothered about Game of Thrones. Um, That's not real but... Oh, is it not? Is it not a documentary? So guys, when I arrived in Edinburgh, I walked past this shop, Zebra Coffee, and I saw the most amazing cookies. So it's the last day, so I had to go and get some. I come out the shop and Keegan's disappeared. And he comes back and he's actually gone and bought cannoli. I love cannoli. Cookies and cannoli, and we've got two coffees coming as well. Diet of an athlete. Yeah. I love as well that yesterday, we were like, we're gonna be really good. We're not gonna eat and drink too much. Cue us eating burgers, halloumi fries, fries, pizza. We did 25,000 steps in a gym session. And yeah. That's true, we earned it. And we didn't drink a lot. No, we didn't, not compared to the day before. <laughs> oh, it's hot. Right, we're in the car, we're gonna head to the lakes, but I just wanna have a bite of the Biscoff cookie. Look, you can tell how good it is, because it's so greasy. Oh, it's hot. It is hot. Look, I mean, you saw them in the window. Oh my gosh. It's like half baked. Yeah, this is like how cookies drill. should do. Should do. This is how they should do. Everyone should do cookies like this. That's why I wanted them. Because you, you could tell from the window they were like half baked. I don't know where the stuffing is though. If you make a mess in my car. <laughs> People think you're precious. I'm not particular at all. I don't know where it's stuck. It must though. be in the centre. Aha! It is stuffed. Mm. It's just like raw dough. Mm hmm It's so good. Is it? Do you not like it? It's literally raw dough. Mm hmm The best. It's like someone's just got a, a lighter and gone, shh, it's yeah. cooked. It's like a blue steak. Oh. If you like raw cookie dough cookies, go to Zebra Coffee in Edinburgh. If you like your cookies actually baked, go somewhere else. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. The journey continues on to the Lake District, so stay tuned for a Lake District vlog where I climb Scarfell Pike, one of the biggest, if not the biggest, mountain in England, I think it is. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed these Edinburgh vlogs. It was really fun editing them together, especially because it's my first bunch of vlogs with Keegan. Well, not my first bunch. My first bunch were for my members. That's a plug for members. If you want to become a member, you can watch exclusive members only videos for $3.99 a month. It's part of the VIP tier, so click join next to subscribe and you'll see your options there. And you get lots of different exclusive videos as well as exclusive members only live streams. So consider that if you want more content from me. If not, I'll see you in a few days time for another video. But thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.